Hello everyone, Oshino here and welcome to this very first video of my new channel Oshino Gaming. Let me tell you very quickly why I am here doing this today. Uh, basically since uh, it's been it's been more than 10 years that I've been playing these uh, management and creation games, especially theme park ones. I started with Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and then went on with the second one and mostly played the third one for the for the entire span of its release. So, yeah, more more of 10 more than 10 years, I guess. And all those years I've been creating stuff like that for fun and every time I didn't share uh, or even show people what I was working on or building and in the end you know with the time going and passing by uh, all those sales were pretty much lost so in the end I've been building hours and hundreds of hours of stuff without showing anyone and I think it's a bit of a shame especially now with internet and all the tools we have so this time with the opportunity of the brand new Planet Coaster releasing and the excitement uh, that goes with it. I was thinking this time it's good to share with everyone what I could be making, you know, for the fun of it without too much headaches. So I think we're gonna have fun with this video series uh, starting here and now. As the very first video, uh, gaming video I, I have ever been making, it has been quite an ordeal to make. Uh, probably more than a week and a half of work, you know, trying, setting things up and fixing problems and errors all along. So yeah, I'm pretty happy it's finally out, if it is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope from now on I can make a video faster and with less trouble, I guess. So, uh, for those of you who don't know the game yet, uh, Planet Coaster is a brand new game. Actually, this video has been made uh, completely during the beta period of the game, which is only one week long. So the game is actually releasing tomorrow, as I am speaking right now, so it's very, very new. Uh, and it is pretty much a new generation of uh, theme park creation and management games. And it's quite exciting. It's been made by Frontier Developments, which are the developers of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. So they have a solid experience on this matter. And uh, they've been doing a very, very great job, especially with the alpha and uh, now the beta. And very, very soon, the final release game. So yeah, this game is pretty good. It's very, very free in the way you can make things. You have a lot of opportunities and pretty much imagination is the only limit, I guess, to this point. It's also a very nice looking game, very performing, but also very power consuming and requires a very uh, powerful computer to work. Uh, just be aware that I am doing all of this recording, playing and uh, editing and whatever you want on a single laptop, which is kind of new. It's like less than a year old, but even even being new and not that bad, uh, it is actually just struggling to run the game properly. So you'll see in the videos some serious uh, frame rate problems, but I feel like you know the video is still watchable and uh, it's not that much of a disagreement. But yeah, I apologize if sometimes it can be quite cut it out. I guess. Last thing before starting the actual video, um, <clears throat> as uh, as we go, I will be uploading on the Steam Workshop every element, coasters, building, attraction that I deem you know relevant uh, to the Steam Workshop to my account. So Oshino, uh, all the links going to be in the description of the video, so you can use them in your own parks if you deem them worthy and if you possess the game. So I think that's going to be fun that way. You have the videos, but you can also enjoy like. The finished creations for yourself. Uh, all right, now that we have this out of the way, let's get to it. Right, uh, let's start with this first build. So, uh, sorry for the long introduction earlier, but as it's the very first video, you know, it felt a bit wrong to go straight to the build and not introduce a little bit myself and the channel before. So, yeah, sorry if it was a bit long for you. It's uh, it's only going to be on this video. So, yeah, let's move on to the very first build, or basically the beginning of this new park. 
Um, so I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted to do with this new park. I think the ideas are gonna go, you know, as as we go, we're gonna find the inspiration for this. But basically, uh, before starting recording, I created a small building, an entrance building, which is just the one you see at the at the background, which is just for the entrance style of the visitors for the park. Uh, it's a small building in the modern style which I was not very happy at the beginning with and uh, in the end with the um, small decorations and uh, the foliage around it, it it became okay I think so yeah this was basically was made uh, off camera but that's the only thing I've done off camera before starting this recording so the, um, the theme of this episode basically is gonna be the um, visitor ticket booth area so all of this uh, all of this building is gonna be actually an area which is not even the park itself but uh, until the visitor really actually enter the actual park after they pay for the ticket and just pass the entrance so as you can see here I wanted to, to build a small small houses like this which is gonna be repeated and that is gonna create a kind of a small building with a pergola, some kind of pergola ab above uh, to have some nice foliage mixed with the, with the building. As for the style I wanted to keep in the modern type just like uh, the, the, entrance, the entrance building but I wanted a bit more of a wooden feeling, so I started using the wood pieces of the game, but in the modern theme, so we keep some logic to it, I think. And I kept also those um, steel beams uh, I used on the entrance building to make a kind of a linking to it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, actually this is how I started this, uh, this concept of building. So what's good with the Planet Coaster game is that basically you can spend time detailing piece of your building and then you can duplicate it as much as you want and just create a building from different pieces just like you see right now I'm duplicating that small house that took a, a while to, to create and you can already just make much bigger structures quite quickly and easily and you can even easily replace as you, as you can see here you can easily replace any piece of it uh, so yeah, I think it's a pretty handy way to do large and spread out buildings without spending too much time, especially with the time it takes to just create a well-detailed piece of building, I guess. So after duplicating those small houses, uh, I needed to link them together to make a kind of a bigger uh, integrated structure that links all those small houses together. So I had to work on, uh, on making this uh, single piece of building. So as you can see, it was a bit of a, of a struggle to get things right and uh, perfectly aligned with the rest.
and here you go just those small small uh, wooden beams can be also duplicated any piece of building can be pretty much duplicated on the other side just here So if you don't know the game uh, Planet Costa in detail just yet, you have like several ways to place all those elements and to adjust them in, in 3D space. So you probably saw me uh, in, in this video already using both of them. You have like the, the free placing, which is basically just moving things around normally and adjust them little by little with like, some, some keyboard shortcuts, but you also have the advanced placing tool which you saw several times already which all ha which is those three axis uh, arrows that allows you to adjust things very very precisely uh, which is very very handy in order to keep the alignment and just move things around uh, the only problem so far I had actually a lot of trouble in this video is that when you use the advanced placing, especially when you want to uh, move some already existing places and just adjust them with that tool, uh, when you're done with it, your whole um, object panel, which you can see at the bottom of the screen right now, all your pieces are basically resetted. I use filters in order to select the wooden piece and just have them appearing. But uh, when you use that advanced adjustment tool to place those things or replace those things, it resets and closes that panel every time so every time you have to open the object panel again and reselect your filters uh, in order to find again your wooden pieces and when when it happens 50 times over a single building it can be quite annoying i guess so as you can see we already started the um, the pergola part of it like just joining the small houses with a wooden structure which is going to be after a uh, feel with like uh, foliage like light foliage not to give a bit of a greener feeling to it, uh, here we are. So I used that very useful uh, foliage piece, which I forgot the name, everyone forgets the name of this because it's kind of a weird name I guess. And uh, this foliage piece is very flat so you can use it in walls or roof without having it going all, all over the place. So it's a pretty handy piece. Uh, as you see, uh, also those pergola I just duplicated uh, have been built around a piece of stone because those wooden beams actually which can be like moved around and rotated freely are actually not automatically piece of a building so you have to use a piece of a proper building in order to create a building in the game because if you're not in a building you cannot duplicate or you cannot like select multiple pieces and duplicate them around freely so the trick was to create a small building which is basically my pergola around that stone square and just building around the wooden I wanted and then you duplicate that building and move it as you want you know to get those three pergolas going very quickly and at the end you just delete that uh, stone piece which you don't need anymore but once you've done that that building is gone so you cannot move it anymore so you need to make sure the the pieces are in place and are not gonna move before uh, deleting that building piece Here is some adjustment with the with the foliage. You know, as the as the other piece was pretty flat, which is the good thing about it. It needs it needed a bit of more thickness to it. So I I use another small bush which I just rotated in order to have it 
fall a bit below that pergola and makes things nicer, I guess. Now that the main building uh, part is done, we are um, we need to make it a bit prettier and more realistic in a way that is an entrance of a park. So I decided to use those six panels, uh, which are the default uh, Planet Coaster panels that just promote some characters or elements of the game. So you have the King Coaster at the center on the left, you have just a guest on the right, you have the Pirate Captain, which is an entertainer, just like King Coaster. And uh, you also saw the, the octopus, which is from a, a ride, actually. And on the right is a safety, just a safety guard, like chasing a, a visitor that did something bad, I guess. So here, uh, as the main like, piece of the building is done, I am just extending it on the side in order to kind of enclose the, the thing. Uh, and I want to create some exit-only pathway because those three uh, houses uh, at the front are the entrance with the booth tickets. Even if in the game it's not, it's going to be recognized only as a piece of scenery, I want it uh, in the concept to be the ticket booth where the people pay for the tickets and enter. But I also wanted some exit-only path, so where technically it's only just for the visitors to leave and they have to get through those gates specifically. So I just duplicated the houses as you saw and two together and now I'm assembling and changing a little bit things in order to get one larger exit pathway. I use a different roof piece also which is pretty nice and fancy but uh, it's, it's been a, a bit of a problem to find how to fill the sides on, on this uh, roof as you're gonna see very soon. Uh, it was difficult, yeah exactly right here. But in the end that triangle piece was actually perfectly doing the job. So I think that was the one we had to use. And adding more details in order to polish a bit uh, the exit building. And adding some more details in the walls as well because we had that simple naked wall uh, so wasn't wasn't that nice so I decided to just add a, a little bit of a wooden beam just to to give some uh, some more detailing to it and duplicating that exit building once more in order to get it on the other side as well just like I did with the other pieces of the building so as I duplicated things on the other side obviously the wall was at the wrong side so I had to move it around and uh, yeah that was a bit annoying to adjust but yeah that's part of the game I guess so this piece of the video was a real pain actually to edit because for some reason the full recording I did was a, a single piece of video which was perfectly working uh, and I had no trouble playing it in my editing software but for some reason this point on the video and only this one where I duplicated that second exit building uh, made the software crash right away actually the player was freezed and you couldn't do anything I tried everything even like reinstalling the whole software and I didn't understand why only a single piece of the same video that worked perfectly why that moment only would just crash everything and in the end I solved the problem only by like using it, this piece of the video inside a different editing software 
exporting the video to create a kind of a new one that only has that piece of the video and what's after in order to put it back into the original editing software and that fixed the problem for no reason at all so so yeah that was a, a bit of a pain and I lost a lot of time on this and going on, after finishing all of that, I realized that the pergola were a bit just flat with everything, all the roofs that are quite steep around it. So I decided to make a kind of a wooden structure that imitates a bit the roof shape in order to just harmonize a bit everything. And I think it looks pretty great this way. So I did the same system, I used that rock piece again in order to create that structure with different wooden beams. And then I assemble and move them by packs and I will be duplicating them in order to fit the two others uh, pergolas. So duplicating those uh, roof structure around and uh, as the, the space between those different uh, houses are different I had to add some, uh, some beams in order to, to fill the, the gaps. So with this done, uh, the main structure of this building is uh, pretty much over and I have to warn you that uh, as I said uh, I had a lot of problems with this video and sadly and I apologize for this the recording of the game recorded actually the, the full thing which uh, I've been playing for like four hours and a half in order to create this but uh, for some reason the software that recorded everything perfectly fine did decide to stop by itself around four hours and a half of gaming for no reason. I stopped recording just like that at 4.30. So the last 30 minutes of the build are missing. Sorry, you won't see the, the final adjustments uh, on this build. It's gonna be all the foliage and the decoration around it. But in the end it's not that bad because the video is already quite long and it's gonna keep you a little bit surprised for the cinematics video that just shows the end result. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna be careful for the next time to you know to get the, the full build recorded for sure. But yes, for this one it's uh, it's a bit of a shame. So finishing up also detailing, I added those small doors uh, at the front and now I'm putting panels in order to get the very clear thing so exits only on one side and exit on the other in order to identify those two things. And uh, this is the, f the main panel, the entrance panel which I uh, on which I wrote Wild County. So I decided this would be the name of the park. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay, but so far that's the idea I had. I wanted like to get the wild aspect just like in wilderness in order to to give that feeling with maybe a lot of foliage and give maybe a wilderness feel, especially as this build actually feels a bit alpine in, uh, in the theme. And I felt it looked pretty good that way. So maybe I'm gonna do some more alpine scenery in the, in the next videos. And county would just be in order to get the feeling of a place basically because like a park or land is like very mainstream and used a lot but county is feels feels nice and not that overused of a word so wild county also wild would refer obviously to the to the roller coasters which are gonna hopefully be wild enough so yeah I think this name uh, for the park is fitting so if you have better ideas of course uh, don't hesitate to put them in the comments but so far I think I'm gonna stay with uh, Wild County which has been written on this panel 
and as you see right now also I did uh, enclose the area as the area is not part of the park itself because the people didn't really pay for it then I wanted to keep the suspense of what's inside the park so just uh, segmented this area keep the surprise uh, until the visitor actually enter and right now I'm starting to build the roads the path basically to reach the different entrances the ticket booth but also the two exit pathways it's been uh, also very difficult and I had to cut a lot of footage because it took a very long time in order to get a nice circle or a nice shape for the path in order to get those entrances done properly. And in the end it's not a perfect square that made it fine but it's a square that is a bit flat on the top as you can see that gave the best shape of path for the different entrances. And now for the double exits. Having some nice straight parallel roads in order to get some uh, some efficient exit traffic going, I guess. The very nice button you have if you press uh, and hold the control key, you have those paths going along each other without trying to join. And that's a very handy option which I used here to get those very uh, symmetrical and close together paths. And we are now starting the last element of this time lapse, uh, which is going to be a centerpiece fountain for this small area, uh, which is composed of five different pieces, which you're going to see assemble right now, with on top a statue of a, of a joker playing with water. So I hope you enjoy this first time lapse, which is already over, and I leave you with the cinematics of the finished area. I hope you're gonna enjoy them and let's see you very soon in the next one. Enjoy the cinematics! So how was it? Nice right? If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to subscribe by clicking on the button on this video or even below it. Leave some likes if you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon in the next one. See you guys!